so what i have done now i have created a landing.html.erb so this is the landing page of the application so this is the landing page and it says landing page to check login or logout so simply it is the landing page to check login or logout and let's this is the uh, this is the issue landing page to check login or logout so let's uh, exit this phase career console and uh, let's clear this so now we need to define in route.rb we need to define get logout because now this is the last feature we are building get logout and then we will test our application to define sessions hash destroy as logout so this is session dot destroy as logout so now let's move to session controller okay what happens when we make a session so what happens let's i'll show you okay so one thing i uh, like uh, one thing i'll show you one thing uh, uh, see uh, so what happens when the user authentication is successful so if the user's authentication is successful so we what we do we do session of user id you will do user dot id okay uh, this is what happens when we see the like we see that the user has successfully logged in so we create a user id and assign that user dot id for destroy what we do we do the opposite of this so okay we do the opposite of this that instead of assigning it id we assign it as a nil value okay so this is what we do and this is uh, this is happens okay uh yeah then uh uh we like this is we do and uh then we need create a helper method and uh application controller dot this is the application controller so we create a helper method in this and how do we define this we define a helper method helper underscore method uh, which is current underscore user so basically in most of the rails application we use the access the current user using this and if i define find current underscore user and we define end so session of user id if that is not nil okay if that is not nil then we define current underscore user is equal to current control user or user dot find user dot find session or user id else current underscore user is equal to nil right so this is how we do it so if that exists if session id is exists then we find the current user then either then we do uh, put that current user to nil okay so if if in this page we say if current underscore user if current underscore user then we say and we say hello hello your current underscore user dot email if it exists then we say this okay else else we need to show user that they are like okay, let's first check this we are in session controller then we assign session is equal to user dot id and then we say render layouts slash landing okay okay uh, one thing we all uh, like missed in this is uh, like uh, that is layouts on the landing so one thing i would like to tell you uh, 
we can also render different uh, layouts uh, from here by defining the prefix so if we don't define the prefix then it assumes and we are defining the uh, sessions then it assumes we are in sessions and users we are in users so if we can define the prefix for this so let's uh, run the application sign in okay it says unexpected error okay yeah because this is uh, ruby so yes else and when we end this block like this fine so let's make login let's login this and let's create so it says landing page to check login or logout hello dummy at the rate mail.com we are perfectly fine so now we on this page we need to create an option to log out if it's if it's if it is uh, signed in okay a hrf and we say log out and for that uh, i told you for if you want to check the confirm the path so what you can do you can simply type this logout and it says logout underscore path perfectly fine so this is logout underscore path and here we go and it's it so let's again uh, move to this page okay uh let's do move to sign in okay let's create a different route for this okay so uh, let's get to this right slash landing and let's do to uh, users hash landing we will create this and so let's create this as landing okay so let's move to user controller let's create this because we don't need to sign this every time to get into this method define landing and then it simply render layouts layout slash landing okay so, yeah. and yeah uh, so yeah yeah that is an error because we need to define this in quotes So like that is an error now let's uh, check for the landing route yeah this is slash landing so let's move to this route so yeah it still stays uh, when we move to the landing page to check login over hello at the demo let's move to logout so when we move to hit the logout button so we need to destroy the session and we already do that nothing and then we say render this thing uh, or instead of doing render render again again we can simply use redirect to because we have already created the route for that yeah so perfectly fine we can do redirect redirect underscore to logout underscore i hope this is fine yeah yeah fine so let's refresh this when you click on logout and here it hits the button and there is a logo so some seems an error with this okay three zero to found okay seems some error with this so let me check the route for this Okay, I did a mistake. Uh, I had to render to landing path. Sorry, so this was a mistake. Yeah. So we say redirect to landing underscore path and redirect to landing underscore path. Yeah, fine. So let's uh, move to landing page. 
okay it's refused to connect it something seems wrong with the server yeah. now it's fine so landing page to check login or logout yeah it is not logged in because last at last you had created short the session so let's create a user from uh, like let's do a sign in www.letmail.com and let's sign in with the user it says hello at the developer let's do a logout and we are logged out so perfectly fine when we are logged out we don't see anything okay so so for that we can create a message if this is the current user then we do this else else we can show else we can show uh, the one we had on the create page of the users this one uh, hrfs I click here to login so this was a better approach to check and yeah it says ending we click here to login when we do login let's login and this one two three four five six login and it's a hello data and we say log out and we go so boom we are out of the session so this is how it worked so thank you everyone for watching this tutorial uh, let's do a quick recap what we did so we had a sign up page where we had signed let's create a new user new user uh, at read mail.com let's create a password one two three four five six again and keep the password same so okay this email is already taken okay, okay. let's take user hundred one two three four five six your account is created so it's perfectly fine uh Click here to login. Let's create a user 100. Let's log in with this. So, landing page to check login or log out. Yeah, hello user at 100mail.com. Let's click on log out and we are out of this uh, session. Click here to login. Let's log in back. So, everything works perfectly fine. So, thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. So, if you have like, uh, we can extend this to application for to some objectives so i'll try to uh, object this authentication so that you have a better overview thank you everyone bye take care